Uh, hello, hello, guys. <coughs> uh, here we have a very expensive Dell. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, see, so it is a very, very nice machine. Hope you can see it can bend and become uh, a tablet. It's a very, very, very expensive machine. And it's got a fingerprint scanner here. The button is a fingerprint scanner. The machine is dope. I won't lie to you. It's, it's so dope and it's strong. And besides that, uh, you know me, guys, as always. Dell is my number one. Uh, anyway, I, I use a MacBook at home. But I love Dell. If I have to go back and use a Windows uh, laptop, I would use um, a Dell. I will go back to Dell. Even my previous machine before using a Mac, it was a, a Dell. Okay, anyway, this PC uh, it's not turning on. Okay, let's see. Anyway, I haven't tested this PC, but I know that they are saying it's not turning on something like that. Yep. Okay, wow. Anyway, let me check here. Ah, let's go ahead okay anyway before we continue guys press the subscribe button now just do it now subscribe and then I promise you you will learn and learn because this channel is all about fun it's all about learning you will you will learn until you are tired yeah let's go ahead so I have the charger here I haven't tested this PC but let's do it anyway. Oh, okay, they told me something like this. You see, uh, the light was coming on, but the moment I connected the charger, the lights uh, went away. The charging lights went away, meaning there's a short on the 19 volts. Okay, let me explain this again. Uh, see when you are when you have a laptop or a PC and then it's not turning on uh, and when you connect the charger the charging light uh, goes away there without any doubt definitely you will know that you are having a short on the 19 volts it means the laptop is shorted on the 19 volts power line so same same issue here we have a short on the 19 volt and now let's go ahead and let, let's remove some screws let's remove some screws okay let's use a proper screwdriver this is a proper but it's it's small so again what you do we have to have uh, those this kind of plastics where you put everything for that specific laptop let's put all the screws here back together Okay, I've never opened such machine, but anyway, 
we have to be careful because the string and you can see this is a tight string so we use this plastic uh, thing because we don't want to stretch the laptop or cause any damage so we use this plastic thing you want to stretch a laptop at all so guys this is the best I will lie to you let's just use them and try to be careful this is a 40,000 laptop and you don't want to to cause any damage okay let's remove the battery the first thing that you would like to do just remove the battery while you are removing the battery in case you short out something and then we'll know that definitely we are safe okay let's see okay so guys when you are when you are dealing with a dead laptop the first thing that you do is do a physical inspection okay there's no hard drive hope you can see what is this I think this is the, the SSD yeah it's an SSD let's see there's no hard drive here yeah there's no hard drive here but there is an SSD ha huh? 512 gig SSD oh yeah this is a beast and these are RAMs I believe maybe 16 gig oh okay it's only one or oh, one Okay. it's only one kick I mean it's only one RAM sorry I don't know the size but it's only one RAM uh, let's go ahead let's go ahead okay let's check for a short remember we have a short on the 19 volts why I'm saying oh, oh, it's only 19 volts is because when you connect the charger the charging light goes away it means there's something shooting the 19 volt to ground let's start here I believe this is ground and I believe this is positive okay so now I know we have a short definitely so sure we have a short No, 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 there's no shots here so far so what we have to do here let's remove the board completely Here, let's use the star. So move the speakers. I think this is the backlight. And then let's remove. Okay, I'm wrong. This is for a hard drive. So it's in there. Okay. We want to remove the part completely. Let's remove each and every cable here. Okay, so here we'll try to be careful as possible. ok 
Okay, cables are out. Mm, so now what next? Okay, I think we have to remove the sink. I think so, I'm not sure. But let's do it anyway. Here we have the stimulus pad. Let's check it out. Okay. Make sure you remove all the screws. Okay. Everything is up now. Fit sync is up. Okay, there is a dedicated uh, graphics card here graphics chip okay so what you do remove everything I know it guys yeah here I have the bot I'm sorry that I didn't show you how I was removing it, but I did show you uh, important things like how to to assemble the laptop step by step. Okay, anyway, here yeah, uh, this is where uh, the DC inject goes, meaning the charger. As you can see, hope you can see it goes straight here. Hope you can see. But now. So what you do, let's do everything step by step. Let's check for a short. To check for a short, I, I, I always uh, uh, tell people their ground is everywhere. These two holes are ground. This is 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 ground. Uh, this is ground. These are all ground. These two holes are ground, including the, the silver things. So what you do, check the maximizer. You put it into a continuity mode so when it when you touch it does show you a continuity hope you can see and it needs to show zero zero and then you go ahead check for a shot from the charging point okay capacitor short head and you check the other side of the capacitor it's giving us a value meaning there is no there's no short you move on check here there's a short but the other side there's no short you move on the short is here on the 19 volt on the main 19 volts so again what we do let's do a random uh, physical inspection which is so important yeah anyway let's go uh, do a physical inspection use your eyes uh, look around especially check the capacitors uh, look the capacitors you will see if they look fine or maybe okay see uh, what i was saying in this capacitor here this short set is the one causing the short <sighs> anyway i'm very good with this thing now let's prove it see short set and let me show you under the microscope let's go under the microscope so that you have a clear understanding and see everything this is the microscope. I'm gonna put my lights first and then let me show you under the microscope. Here we are, we have a short here. Okay, let me put down the microscope, it's too far. Scan focus. 
Uh, yep. Let's try to focus again. Let's try to focus again. See? Yes. Uh, this capacitor here is shorted. This is the problem. As you can see, it's cracked. So uh, let's go ahead. So what you do in this case, you use a phone. Uh, go ahead, guys. Let's just use a phone. I use a phone in my case. And don't feel bad. Use a phone. Feel free. I use a foil. I use a foil. So what you do? You take a piece, and then you cut it. And then I feel like this is so small. Let's cut a bigger piece. Yep. Yeah. Put this back together, and then do this two times. After that. Uh, you switch back to a microscope what you do you cover the RAM slots because this thing is near the RAM near the RAM slots so you cover the RAM slots you cover the RAM slots you cover the RAM slots including some other connectors that might be affected which are near which are near the, uh, the thing, the capacitor that you want to remove. Uh, just feel free, feel free, don't be afraid. Let's just do it. And then you come with power and heat uh, with my tweezer. Okay, you can put uh, some flags if you don't mind. I do mind. Um, for now, I do mind. Okay, this is out. Okay, capacitor is out. Uh, I think we need a spare capacitor. Let me look for another capacitor. Spare capacitor. And I do have a spare capacitor here with me. Uh, let's put back the spare capacitor. This is a spare capacitor. I'm just gonna put it right here. Yeah. And again, you come with a uh, hot air. Eh? Oops. Oh, but oh shit. It went away. But here it is. Nope. This is not the one. Okay, you know what? Let me take another one. Okay, I have another clean one. Let's put some heat there.
then we remove uh, the phone okay uh, anyway can throw this away okay the RAM wasn't affected now let's go ahead and check and check where there was a short no short anymore the capacitor is not shorted anymore hope you can see now I'm happy and yeah let's put back everything uh, step by step oops I dropped some screws but anyway who cares do I care nope so no I, I'm joking guys I I'm joking guys I do care I do care about those truths otherwise the client will come back complaining to us one way day and night complaining one way one way so we have to be professional okay I think we have to remove all the screws. Let's place everything here. Let's just use everything here on top. Okay, let's start with the string. Let's connect the string. Oh, anyway. Before I connect everything, the screws, but I can connect the, the card and the Wi-Fi card. I think we have to okay, let me connect the Wi-Fi card. I want to show you something. Let's try to turn it on and see if it's turning on. If it does turn on, I won't waste your time. I'll put this machine back to get up by myself. But for now. Put back everything. Okay, mm, let's connect the speaker. Let's connect the TC, the TC in check, meaning a charger. Let's connect a uh, screen. Okay, sorry guys, this was not a screen, I was wrong. Here, here is the L. LVTS connector of which is a string it was in a way because they were using the same same type of a, uh, cable so
okay so now what do we need uh, anyway I want I, I won't connect what about the keyboard should I connect the keyboard yeah I think I should connect the keyboard let me see where's the power button Okay, anyway, let's see. Let's connect the battery and then let's see from there if it's turning on or not. Okay, still there's no light. Oh, okay, sorry. Here, there is a light here. Hope you can see. We do have a light here. The machine will turn on just now. But I removed the. I think it's resetting, so we should get a display anytime from now on. Only if it's working. Close. Okay, it's off. I think it's gonna turn on again. Okay. Did it die in front of me or what? Okay, let's press the lights again. Okay, we have the lights here. I'm sure you can see. Okay. Anyway, uh, I think the machine is not solved. So what I have to do now? Let's take a charger. Let me take a charger again and connect it, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, we have a charger here and we do have a charging light what you can see here you can see here it's plugging the laptop okay still we have a charging light didn't go away now let's see why the machine is not turning on because it should turn on is it on Guys, I can't tell if this machine is on or not, honestly. But we do have a charging light. But the question is, is it turning on? Okay, I press the part the button. Okay, the CPU is getting hot. We should get it. We should get a display by now. Cause I, I, the CPU is getting hot. It's getting on. I think it's resetting. Yeah, I think it's resetting or something, guys. I don't know. Oh, okay here we go then so happy let me shut it let me remove the charger and let me remove the okay let's turn it off faster 
gonna explain why I'm turning it off so quick. Okay. The reason why I'm turning it off, the problem has been solved, but now the thing is, let's remove the battery one more time. The thing is, I didn't connect. I didn't put the thermal paste. I have to change the thermal paste on the uh, CPU as well as on the graphics card. Okay. Anyway, this is how you fix uh, a Dell, a Dell to Dell. I hope you are learning, guys. Uh, subscribe now and watch more and more of my videos. Thank you so much.